All right, so today we're gonna to show you how to set up a hostess tray rig uh, properly and safely for uh, correct operation. So first thing we're gonna do is roll down the window. So once the window's rolled down, now we'll have a safe place to mount the rig over it. So the first thing we wanna do, or second thing we wanna do, is cover the car uh, to protect the in interior and exterior. So cover the edge with a blanket or a towel. So to set up the suction cups, we're gonna to wanna to have the door extremely clean. So a glass cleaner and a rag is usually your best way. So we're gonna clean the side of the door, get all the dirt, debris, anything that'll make the suction cup not stick. So we're gonna get that nice and clean. Next, we're gonna come in with a large suction cup and we're gonna mount this on the door with the pins parallel. So we're gonna push this into the door and then we're gonna pump it till it makes a solid contact with the door. You wanna pump this tight enough that then the pin here on the bottom has a red line. You wanna make sure the red line is not visible. So that means that it's fully pumped. and secure against the door of your car. Once that's secure, I'm gonna grab two grip heads. I'm gonna screw the grip heads on here. Loosen those up because we're gonna put some rods in there. With the two grip heads mounted, we're gonna add our first 5 8 rods. We're gonna set the rods in position, just roughly. Nothing needs to be tight yet. So we're gonna mount these grip heads on the hostess tray. Uh, another two, same way. Facing outwards is usually the easiest. And we're gonna position them so that we can get the rods through them, keep them a little bit loose. Now with these pre-positioned, we're gonna come in here with the tray with it leaning over the edge of the car. I'm gonna put the rods through the tray and begin to tighten it up. Same thing with this side. So now we tighten everything down, making sure that all our pins are tight, our grip heads are tight. So this is your first step. Next we're going to strap the hostess tray to the car. So you have to have securing from the bottom as well as the top. So in your kit, you're going to have the door jam straps. We're going to open the door. And we're gonna hang these straps over the door frame. So that when you close the door, these are secure and you can put weight on them. The next step is to take out your ratchet straps. And we're gonna secure the ratchet straps from the door frame straps to the eye bolts on the top of the uh, hostess tray. All right, once we have our, host, our ratchet straps set up, <coughs> we're gonna clip one to the upper part. I'll pull this through, and we're gonna clip it to the lower. If your ratchet straps are too long, you can always loop them back, depending on the height of your car. doesn't need to be super tight. It just needs to be tight enough to be able to hold some of the weight. So you want the weight being held from up here and down below on the suction cup. Depending on the weight of your camera, two straps is usually necessary. You can take the excess straps and throw them inside. All 
right, we'll repeat the process with the second strap. Come up overhead. We'll loop it back to shorten it. And we'll clip it to the other U-bolt. So making sure that both of these are taking some of the weight. Toss that inside. Now, the rig is fully built. So the next step is to make sure that we have a safety chain uh, and a secure method so that if this rig comes off, it doesn't bounce across the road. So the next is we're going to put on the safety chain in case this comes off of the car. It doesn't bounce on the road and damage anything or hurt anybody. So we're going to take the safety chain. Now, it's important that the chain is not connected to something that's... Uh, it has to be connected to a hard part of the car or one of our safety straps here, but not from the plate to the suction cup. So for this rig, we're going to clip it on the eye bolt here and to our upper strap because this is a second separate section and this is secure this can safety the whole rig keeps it from coming loose and we have carabiners on either end the next option that you can do to mount to another part of the car and secure the top of your camera if you feel that you might need to secure the top of the camera from vibrating or shaking that can be done with this second suction cup you can mount it on a window on the side of the car somewhere and then run these poles in mounted to the top of the camera that's a safe way to set up a hostess tray, making sure that everything's secure. After every couple takes, you want to pump this back up to make sure that it's not seeping or sliding across the car. And that's it.